The Indian Olympic Association's elections will finally take place in Delhi on Sunday. This puts an end to the turbulent phase India's Olympic governing body has gone through since December 2012. N. Ramachandran is all set to be appointed as the president unanimously. Ramachandran, who is also the head of the Squash Racket Federation of India, is a favourable candidate for Abhi Singh Chautala, the former president who was forced to leave his position. President of the Coco Federation and a Hockey India VP, Rajiv Mehta, is set to become the Secretary General. Unopposed once again, just as All India Tennis Association's President Anil Khanna has been named for the Treasurer's post. Chautala and Bhanot have both been barred from contesting polls, but they are nonetheless part of the Electoral College and have voting rights. While Chautala is representing the Athletics Federation of India, Bhanot will be representing the Delhi Olympic Association. It seems that the International Olympic Committee is leaving nothing when it comes to these elections and will send uh, as many as four observers to monitor the election. IOC is ensuring that no tainted or charged framed official can contest the elections. But as headlines today reported yesterday itself, the president-elect himself has a case of misleading the government against him right now in the Delhi High Court. He has also been accused of conflict of interest as he runs the Tamil Nadu Squash Centre as his own property. In a letter to the IOC director Piro Miro, Clean Sports India has said that there are certain apparent anomalies in these polls which are to be conducted on Sunday. They are called upon the IOC to stop Abhay Singh Chautala and Lalit Bhanot from being part of the IOA's Electoral College and have also told the IOC that given the anomalies, these polls could end up being challenged in courts in India.